Hey everyone, this is Onindo and today I'm gonna show you Slim Bean ROM on Samsung Galaxy Grand. Well, many of you have asked me to do a review on this ROM and uh, finally it's here and uh, today I'm gonna show you. So, before showing this ROM, let me just tell you that to flash this ROM, you need to be on 4.1.2 firmware stock touchwiz, okay? then only you can flash this rom you can't install this rom on 4.2.2 bootloader okay if you do that you'll end up in boot loop okay so inst the installation the installation procedure of this rom is just same as all other roms just uh, download the zip and uh, flash it via cwm okay simple as that and another thing you need is the g apps which I'll be putting the links down below. So without further ado, let me just show you. So guys, this is the lock screen. And as you can see, it's just a normal lock screen, but here is the S, which stands for slim bin. And, uh, if we swipe to the left here we get the widgets which we can add in lock screen like calculator calendar doc digital clock gmail message and all other widgets if we want secondly and uh, I don't know if it will swipe to the right or not no it doesn't swipe to the right okay so to unlock the phone just unlock it like this and uh, at first let me gonna show let me just show you the settings okay this is this settings panel this is the settings panel and here we have all the necessary stuff like Wi-Fi Bluetooth data okay and one more thing which I wanna tell you that in this ROM everything works just fine everything in this ROM works fine except for two things like FM radio which you all know that Nexus phone and any other um, vanilla Android doesn't support FM radio and secondly is the dual sim okay dual sim doesn't work okay uh, so let me just go through each and every every options over here Wi-Fi Bluetooth data then uh, in general in, if we press general see one in general we have the profile widget viewer page okay low battery warning secondly we have interface in interface we have if you want we can change the LCD density uh, by default it comes with 182 if we want we can change it to whatever we like like in nexus uh, we can set as nexus 7 213 or hdbr 240 320 480 okay and uh, if you want to change the dba for yourself you can do that as well see here's an option starting from 160 and ending in 480 i think this will be helpful for many of you then uh, then comes status bar in status bar we can change the transparency of this bar okay of this bar and uh, also the color secondly we can change this battery icon okay thirdly the battery location okay next we uh, next it's signal and auto hide all all other options notification drawer notification drawer is nothing like uh, just this one like power widget and see this one okay and all other options like notification drawer style and uh, quick settings panel shortcut and uh, one more thing is show Wi-Fi network name then comes themes I think uh, yeah next themes then uh, next comes navigation in navigation we have har hardware keys like 
this one okay uh, if we want we can mention I mean we can customly mention like if you press the back button it will just go back and if you long press it you can uh, assign like menu or last cap or notification screen off whichever you feel like and you can do the same for the home button and all also for the menu button here is the power menu reboot airplane next comes uh, slim pie is the pie chart type of thing which we have seen like like this one wait okay like this one all right next comes is the real dark slim if we see by default it's turned off if i want you can turn it on so what happens the full screen just is just uh, just like a black theme full black theme everything just turns to black then sound display storage battery okay application see uh, out of 3.8 GB only 288 MB is using and guys and guys one more thing is that this ROM is very very lightweight yeah by default I think Samsung touch is is about 1.2 GB or 1.4 GB but this ROM is only 86 MB can you believe it it's only 86 MB I mean you can install uh, 86 MB firmware on your phone and on your phone and you can do whatever you feel like it's the full Android operating system in 80 MB only it's outstanding all right next comes the accessibility like uh, what's the magnification gesture large text power button end call all these options second is the developer option and uh, there is an option called advanced where where there is two options like performance and super user in performance see here is an uh, warning says these settings are included for experimental and any other changes made to them have the potential to cause instability crashes data loss hardware failures we request you do not file bug reports if any of these settings have been changed from the default okay here you can change the governor of the processor IO scheduler memory management 16 bit transparency and all other stuff in super user is just normal super user app in uh, about phone we have In our phone we have uh, Android version 4.2.2 okay then uh, kernel version is this 3.0.31 then uh, memory is 804 MB slim bean ROM former version is slim bean 4.2.2 build 8.1 unofficial okay all right all right now let me just show you one little cool stuff which I've found on this ROM is it is there in Play Store believe it or not see in Play Store which I've uh, I accidentally found out one thing in this ROM that's very very cool let me show you what it is wait first just turn off this Let me just show you one thing which I find out here in more games from Gameloft. Guys, in this ROM, first time ever which I've seen in this ROM, every single app and every single game made by Gameloft and any other developer is unlocked by default in this ROM. Can you believe it? Means 
Real Racing 3 back stamp then uh, um, Brothers in Arms every single app which was incompatible by by default now we can install it just everything is unlocked over here I don't know how it's damn cool like Iron Man 3 this game was locked okay see Brothers in Arms okay Every single app is unlocked. Even Asphalt is eight is free. I don't, I don't know uh, when was uh, when I last checked Asphalt eight, but GameLoft made it free. Wow. Okay. Even the Thor game is also here. And uh, let me search for real racing. And guys, see, real racing 3 is also available. By default, I haven't changed anything. This ROM is just awesome in terms of gaming i don't know about the gaming performance but if you want to install anything f which was previously locked on galaxy grand and you don't want to do I means changing the model number or something like that i think this rom is the best because every app is unlocked every game is unlocked just go for it if you i don't know what will be the gaming performance like but at least it's it's open in play store Okay, secondly, I wanna show you is the dialer. Okay. Alright, uh, next is the camera. Guys, by default, Photosphere is not here, but I think it can be installed. Okay, uh, we need to search a little, but yeah, Photosphere can be installed. I think so. And uh, video recorder and everything works just fine. And I did some calling using this ROM, and the voice quality and the mic was just crystal clear. And uh, yeah, guys, that's it and um, i'm just loving this rom it's very very fast and very lightweight and um, by default you get by default you get the dsp manager also okay and uh, slim bin file manager as well these are the things which you will get by default let me just let me just show you Okay, with this Android ISC for slim ROMs, I don't know, I just don't know what's this. And uh, browser, <coughs> calculator, calendar, camera, clock, developer tools. Okay, developer tools, downloads, DSP, gallery, and hangout, messaging, Nova settings okay now contacts have been changed to people people wait where just wait a second people i think in windows phone also it's called contacts also called people right who knows and uh, play music play store anyways uh
so guys this is it and uh, I've done it I did this slim bin ROM review which you all wanted if you want to, if any one of you want to see any ROM review just comment down below and anything related to this ROM um, you can comment down below I'll be there to reply and yeah guys see ya take care and uh, I just love this ROM it's very very fast and another thing which I missed let me let me just show you like by default if we do the lock see we get the CRT effect but if you don't like CRT effect some of you may not like for them Slimbin developer have did something which is wait let me search it yeah this one CRT off okay if you do this see what happens this simply locks the screen as if it's just went to sleep or something like that it's damn cool